Satan and Sunny Sunny London. Strong. The gym is over and now packing up to go back to England. <sighs> so my flight in the morning is a 7am flight and when I was booking it I really wasn't thinking about what time I'd be leaving the States, it was more about what time I'd be getting back to the UK. So I'd be getting back to the UK around 8am which is a good time, it gives me time to go home, unpack, uh, get my stuff together to then go back to Swindon on Sunday. But the issue with looking to the future of when I'm landing instead of when I'm leaving is that I'm leaving at 7 a.m. I have to be at the airport around 5. That means I need to leave here around 3. I don't think I'm going to be getting any sleep. So in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is the moral of the story is I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. So I've tried to be a bit more organised today because this is the day before I leave so I thought it would be a lot better if I start packing now as opposed to packing last minute because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have much time to pack. So the plan is to, on Thursday, do a hike to Bridge to Nowhere um, and then after that get some food but the hike in itself is like 6 hours so I'm not really too sure when I'll have time to do this so So right now, en route to uh, George's second birthday. Uh, so what's the plan, Mum? Where are we going right now? We're going to St. Boniface. Are you picking up any food or anything? We are going to their place and pick up all the food and then take it to the hall. So it's been a while since I've been to that Filipino party, but there's one thing that you can always count on at a Filipino party. There's gonna be food and lots of it. Yeah, that's... Oh, well, Dad stopped over there. Oh, no. Why doesn't he go ahead? Well, because he doesn't know that you know... So we just got here to the venue. Oh, what should have been a fairly short journey was riddled with traffic. It should have took about 30 minutes to get here. All the food and everything, it took us like an hour. So it's any long. But just as tradition, there's a lot of food at a Filipino party. There's also a lot of disorganisation. So right now we don't really know what we're doing. We've got loads of stuff set up for the party and now we're just trying to wait and just see if anyone's even in the venue and if they are, if we start setting up. Strong.
He made it. He made it. He made it. He made Subscribe it. to my <laughs> Subscribe. George's channel. Make sure you get to it. What's that, the uh, Sony A7X, bro? No, I don't know, man. I wish. Yeah. Just trying to be OCD about the bar. Walk us through the selection. We've gone for the diabetic's favorite Coca Cola. Uh, we've got some tropical juice drink. Juice drink. Not actual juice. Some more juice drink. Uh, we've got a 7 up. You know how people are. Finest. Finest white wine. I think. So right now everyone's getting food. I'm gonna do the same because I'm pretty hungry from us setting everything up. Um, but right now it's getting pretty lit. Victims from the rear looped the wire over their heads and tripped. 